Daddy, we're going to make some turkey meatloaf. Okay. You need a little bit over three pounds of ground turkey. Two cloves of chopped garlic. Get that in. And one chopped jalapeno. Let's get that out. Three fourth cups of breadcrumbs. Two cans of Rotel. Don't strain them because you want it to be m moist. You don't want it to be where you can throw it across the room. So don't strain it. Get that right there. Okay. And you want two lightly beaten eggs. Um, you want one cup of onions and one cup of green bell peppers. You're going to want some Worcestershire sauce. Season. You're going to want onion powder, some lemon pepper. I know it sounds weird, but it makes it have more like flavors to where it tastes good. You're going to want some celery seed. Parsley flakes. Gavinger's seasoning. And some pico de gallo pepper. Give it a little spice. hamburger. It's ground turkey, but it makes it taste like beef. Because everybody knows that beef is fattening for you. Beef is fattening for you. And ground turkey's not. But by the end of this, you'll never know it was turkey. So, Just three spoons of this, three spoons of it. Okay. And then you're going to want some Okay, here's what you need for the sauce that you're going to pour in. The sauce that you're going to pour in. It's Cholula. It's Cholula. Some more Worcestershire. Some ketchup. Some hot sauce. Louisiana hot sauce. And some... Um, well, some of this. <laughs> okay, now we're going to pour the sauce in. No, we're, no, not right now. Right. Now you're going to mix it. Don't mix it too much or it'll get like a rubbery feeling. Okay. On the onions and the, the onions, the onions and the green bell peppers, you want them finely chopped because you don't because you want them to cook finely through. It's not that we cook it too much. You just want them to cook all the way. So get down in there. You just wash. I wash my hands with hot water and stuff before this too. So you might want to do that. Or otherwise, people wouldn't eat it unless if you told them. Get all the way at the bottom. Come up. Okay. One more mix. And okay. Okay. 
Now you're going to want to go wash your hands. Gosh, that. You don't want to wash your hands yet because you're going to pour it in the pan and then you'll touch the meatloaf. Duh. Okay. You can just pick it up. I'd rather do that. Get it all in there. If you don't get enough, you can get a spoon, wipe it to the bottom, all of it on the sides. It should be easy, but you could use it if you want. You could use hands also, it doesn't matter. Forget, so you're going to click on timer, 30 minutes, don't click start yet, and then about earlier, that sauce that I was talking about, and I didn't know what it was, it's called rooster sauce, We it's sriracha sauce, but I, we like to call it rooster sauce, so you could find it at stores, it'll say it's sriracha sauce, so you might, if you can't have trouble finding it, say sriracha sauce, so, okay, here's a little trick. You want to add anything to your meatloaf to have you like it? Take a little piece, put it on a napkin, then put it in here about for 30 seconds. And if you wanted to adjust it to your taste, how you might like it, you can do that too. Okay. Well, I'll be back when it's done heating. We're gonna put it in, get a spoon on top of it so it doesn't fall out. Drain the grease. Put that seasoning I was talking about on top of it. With the Cholula, Worcestershire, ketchup, and the Louisiana hot sauce, the sriracha sauce, like rooster sauce. When we come back, okay, thank you. Okay, now let's check on that meatloaf. You can, well, you, right now you can, hold on, let me pull it out for you. Right now you can see how it's, like, separating. Like, right there, you can see back there. See the grease? You can see the grease on the edges. That's how you know it's like sort of separating. Well, I'm gonna drain it with a little bit of my mom's help, okay? As I said, you need a spoon on top of it so it won't fall out to drain it, okay? Okay, now, now it's out of the oven, we drained it. We're gonna bring my oven stool over here, okay. Don't mind my dog. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to put it on, on the sauce on top that we did with the Jaluga, the Worcestershire, the ketchup. Okay, you're gonna, just going to grab some, spread it around. Don't try to get it in between the sides. Like I said, it would part. Don't try to get it in between the sides. so you can have just the same bite in each spot. Okay, now we're going to put it back in the oven. Okay. I'm just going to set that right here. I'll pick it up in a minute. Okay. Open the oven. See how like the fat, the the excess of the fat is built up more. We'll just go ahead and drain that. Well, let's go ahead and drain it. Thanks for tuning in to Kata's Kitchen.
Hope you enjoy your meal. <laughs> Yum. That's a good meal. <laughs>